Hello students, today I will start exercise 13.3 The diameter of a base of a cone which is equals to 10.5 cm in its slant height is 10 cm and we have to find the curved surface area of a cone In first video I have given you the formula of cone all the 3D objects here the diameter of a base which is equals to 10.5 and radius which is equals to 10.5 upon 2 and slant height is given as L equals to 10 cm. We know that the curved surface area of a cone which is equals to pi R L which is equals to 22 by 7 into 10.5 upon 2 into 10. By solving this we will get 11 into 15 into 1 which is equals to 165 cm square question number two find the tsa of a cone if slant height is 21 meter and diameter is 24 meter diameter is 24 meter so radius become 24 by 2 which is equals to 12 meter slant height is given as 21 meter tsa of cone which is equals to pi r r plus l 22 by 7 into 12 means r 12 plus 21 by solving this by 12 plus 21 which is equals to 33 and 12 as it is and 22 by 7 as it is which is equals to 8712 upon 7 the value is 12445.7 meters square approx Question number 3. The curved surface area of a cone which is equal to 308 cm square and slant height is 14 cm. First of all, we have to find the radius of a base and then we have to find the TSA of a cone. Curved surface area which is equal to pi r l which is equal to 308. We know the value of pi l and we have to find the value of r. Let be the radius of the r be radius pi r l which is equals to 308 which is equals to 22 into 7 into r into 14 equals to 308 so this 7 goes in multiplication which is equals to 308 into 7 upon 22 into 14 which is equals to 7 centimeter so the base of a cone which is equals to 7 centimeter and area of base which is as a circle so the area of circle which is equals to pi r square means 22 by 7 into 7 square so which is equal to 22 into 7 which is equal to 154 centimeter square and curved surface area is 308 we know that the TSA of a cone which is equal to curved surface area plus base area which is equal to 308 plus 154 centimeter which is equal to 462 centimeter square Question number 4. A conical tent of 10 meter height and radius which is equal to 24 meter. We have to find the slant height of a tent. We know that the formula of L equals to under root R square plus H square. And the cost of canvas required to make a tent if the cost of 1 meter square is rupees 70. The radius is as 24 and height as 10. Slant height is under root r square minus h square which is equals to 24 square sorry it's l is r square plus h square this is plus this is plus so 24 square plus 10 square 24 square is 576 and 10 square is 100 by adding both 576 plus 10 square means 100 which is equal to 676 which is equal to under root 676 which is equal to 26 meter the required slant height of a tent is 26 meter so curved surface area of a cone which is equal to pi r l so area of canvas required is pi r l 22 by 7 into 24 into 26 meters square which is equal to 13728 upon 7 meters square. So the cost of this canvas equals to 70 into 13728 upon 7. This 7 and 70 cancel out. Answer becomes 10 and 10 is multiplied with 13728 which is equals to 13 
7 to 8 z two. Question number five. What is the length of tarpaulin three meter wide, which will be required to make a conical tent of height eight meter and base six centimeter? Assume the extra length of material will be required for stitching margin and wastage is cutting approximately 20 cm and take pi as 3.14. We know that base is 6 cm and height is 8 cm. Slant height is under root r square plus h square which is equals to 6 square plus 8 square in under root which is equals to under root 36 plus 64. 36 plus 64 which is equals to 100 root of 100 which is equals to 10 meter we know the curve surface area which is equals to pi r l which is equals to 3.14 into 6 into 10 by removing point we have to divide 100 which is equals to 314 divided by 100 into 6 into 10 which is equals to 1884 meter square the area of turbulent required to make a tent is 188.4 meter square the length of turbulent is L meter and breadth which we know that which is equals to L so L into 3 which is equals to 188.4 so the value of L which is equals to 183.4 divided by 3 which is equals to 62.8 so the extra length of turbulent required for margin is 20 centimeter so 20 centimeter which is equals to 0.2 meter so the total length of required for tripling is 62.8 plus 0.2 meter square which is equals to 63 meter thank you students